All right, guys, so we got our block ready. We got it all clean, dry, torched it, and we got the Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer, and we got our brush. That's what it looks like in the can. And we're gonna just simply brush it on real nice and easy. Don't have to get all sloppy and nasty with it. Just take your time. And we're just gonna cover everything with one good coat and then let it dry for probably about a good day. Dream machine, racing queen, I'll take you wherever you wanna go. Let's pull us down, break the speed of sound. Tonight, we all know. Right. All everybody's having a blessed day out there so we are still working on the BGE 392 block today's video is gonna be about getting this thing looking pretty we're gonna paint it make it look good um, so this is gonna be a how to paint pretty much any engine block on the cheap with local supplies you can go get at you know Home Depot next to you or a hardware store Stuff you can find on the shelf that don't cost an arm and a leg, especially if you're in a hurry to do this. And it'll be a very good looking paint job and one that will hold up for a long time. So we're gonna go over a few things that you need uh, before you start doing this as far as prep work and the materials that you need to get. All right, so we pretty much already have the block prepped as far as some tape. Uh, we just taped off a few areas that I wanna try to keep paint off of. Um, now the way we're going to do this, you don't need to go all crazy with a tape job. Uh, just tape off a few things that will be hard to, you know, keep off of the areas you don't want to paint. But we are going to be using this stuff right here. We're going to brush it on. Yes, we're going to use a brush. We're not going to spray bomb it or rattle can it. We're going to brush the paint on. This is going to give us a much better paint job and it's going to be one that holds up for a long time. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is get you some acetone. This is the cheapest, best working way to clean this thing down. So you want to get some acetone. What I like to do is I'll put some in a squirt bottle like so and you're just going to spray everything that you need to paint down. Spray it down the acetone will break down that oily, nasty residue and then get you some preferably lint-free towels and just kind of wipe everything down real good and then let it dry. You can get you a little blow gun like so. Blow it out, blow all the little holes, the bolt holes, everything like that. Anything that could hold or retain any fluid. Now for the paint, what we're going to do, Rust-Oleum, yep. We're using Rust-Oleum and we're going to use the Rusty Metal Primer. That's going to be basically our first coat. We're going to put one good coat, nothing more than that, just one good solid coat over everything that we want to paint with this. All right. Uh, this is, again, I went to the, as you can see, the Home Depot and we got this. This was on the shelf and I'm going to go with red. Yeah, I thought about doing like a Hemi orange or whatever. Um, but I want a red engine block, so we're going to do red. So we went with the Gloss Sunrise Red. It's a really bright, has a lot of color, has a lot of life to it. It's a nice bright red. And that is the color we're going to go with for the BGE392 block. Now, for those that do want to go with like a Hemi orange, um, what you want to look for, and it's kind of hard to find it sometimes, uh, you can order it, but if you're lucky, you'll find it on the shelf as well. 
but you're looking for a Omaha orange, I believe is what they call it for the Rust-Oleum brand. And it looks just like Hemi orange. It's, it's really, really close and, and it works well. But anywho, this is what we're going with. So we got our color, we got our primer right here. We got some acetone and we got a brush. This stuff is dirt cheap. And for the amount of product you're gonna use to actually paint the engine block, there will be a ton of product left. And, and honestly, you're probably talking a paint job for less than five bucks. Um, now the products do cost a little bit more than that. I wanna say I have maybe around 30 bucks or so in it, some, something like that. But for the amount of product you're gonna use, it's, it's literally a paint job for less than five bucks. And you'll have a ton of it left over to do another project with or something like that down the road. So you can't beat it. Now there is other products out there like from Eastwood um, specifically for doing a project like this. But this is more for, you know, the guy that is doing something in his garage. It's, you know, late at night or whatnot. And you want to go down the road, get some paint off the shelf so you can do this overnight. Um, and just get it done. But this stuff is good. It works good. It's going to look awesome. And it's going to hold up for a very, very long time. So yeah, nothing crazy. That's what we're going to go with, guys. So hang tight. We're going to get everything set up. We're going to start cleaning this engine block down. And there's one more very important step that you need to do prep-wise before you start laying down the paint. So stay tight, let's get to it. All right guys, so we have our spray bottle here with acetone. We're gonna get to cleaning. We're gonna just basically spray down everything that we wanna paint on the block with some good old acetone so it'll break down all that oily residue, nastiness, stuff like that. And then we're gonna wipe it down, dry it off real good, and go on to the next step. So let's get to it. Our fam so now that we got everything wiped down with acetone and we got it pretty much clean of oil and uh, majority of the solids that we can get off next step you're gonna need a torch and the reason you're gonna need a torch is we're gonna heat up this metal and what it's gonna do is actually pull out the moisture out of the block you know these blocks are very very porous and Deep down in them pores, you're gonna have moisture, you're gonna have maybe a little bit of oil residue still, um, stuff like that, and this heat is gonna pull that out, extract it, it's gonna burn it off. It's gonna dry the block very, very well. Um, very important, before you put the primer down, that way that primer will have a very, very good solid surface that's clean and water-free to adhere to. You should be able to see this happen kinda on the camera here. So that's pretty much the process. As you can see right here, it's very, it's very dull looking. It's very dry. Everything around it, you can kind of see it's still got moisture in it. So that's pretty much the idea. You're just trying to get all of the liquid and water and any, any material, solvents, whatever, in that block, trying to pull it out and uh, just get it gone. So 
we're going to keep going at this until it's all done. The spot that I just did, you can kind of see it's, it's very dry looking, it's dull looking compared to the rest of it. Um, you can really, you can literally see the moisture kind of come out as it's drying everything out. So we're going to go over this entire thing. Um, this is probably the thing that takes the longest to do, but we're going to go over the whole thing. And then uh, after that, we'll be ready to lay some primer down. So here we go. Hand on the wheel, got my pistons pumping all it. Our block ready we got it all clean dry torched it and we got the rust-oleum rusty metal primer and we got our brush that's what it looks like in a can and we're gonna just simply brush it on real nice and easy don't have to get all sloppy and nasty with it just take your time and we're just gonna cover everything with one good coat and then let it dry for probably about a good day. Dream machine, racing queen. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Let's put us down, break the speed of sound. Tonight, we all know coat of the rusty metal primer on the engine block and as you can see we use <laughs> like nothing barely any product that's why I said this stuff goes a long way and you can use it for a lot of other projects all right so this is with our first coat of the rusty metal primer from rust-oleum and as it's drying it's 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 getting pretty dry but you can see it's it's laying down nice and flat it just provides a really really good surface this came out looking pretty good you still see it's a little wet right here still drying every now and then you may get a run um, but with a paintbrush you can just kind of dab it and just kind of keep working it and it'll, it'll flatten out real nice when it dries the top part was the last part that we just painted so it's still pretty wet but I'm really liking the finish so far with the primer. Already looks so much better. And that is with just one coat. And that is all you need. This stuff goes on pretty thick. It does a really good job as far as covering all that porous material. Works really, really good. So we're gonna let this dry overnight, give it, give it a good 24 hours to, to dry up and cure. And then we're gonna come back with our gloss sunrise red. All right, so I think that's gonna do it for today. We're gonna let this primer dry, let it lay down and fear, fully cure for about 24 hours. And then we'll come back with part two of laying the color down and uh, getting it really nice and bright. So don't forget, give the video a thumbs up, comment down below what you think of the outcome so far. And as always, stay safe out there and we'll see you guys on the next one.